Rover, you're finally here. So you're the Rover, huh? Delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Yuhu from Jinzhou. Like Mr. Chunpi, she's an expert in antiques. That's me! To uncover clues about hidden antiques, of course. Since Mount Firmament reopened, Master and I noticed artifacts from there popping up in the market. Aside from Court of Savante gadgets, there are still plenty of mystery items that don't exactly scream Mount Firmament, you know? So... So I'm betting they're from the port city of Guishu. Yes. I remember you mentioned wanting to learn more about your past ties to the Black Shores. The battle in Norfolk Barrens is over, and the Black Shores should be withdrawing. But they have asked the Midnight Rangers to monitor the area around the port city of Guishu. I thought this might be your chance to gather more information about them. Huh? Y you uh, brought it up before. Aw, oh, Yang Yang's got a soft spot for you, huh? Are you her special someone? Come on. I... I just know it means a lot to you. Relax, I'm just teasing. So, you're tracking the Black Shores too? Since we're on the same trail, how about teaming up? Let this master be your guide. You and me, dream team. Nothing's gonna slow us down. Not to boast, but epic adventures tend to have a way of finding me. Since Rover's here, let's talk to that bloom bearer first. Weird. These parameters are correct, but nothing's happening. What's going on? Yes. Need something? Oh, uh, so you're the one Alto invited earlier. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. Golden pupils and this Blake Bloom. Yeah, it's you, all right. I'm Nia, a bloom bearer from the Black Shores. Didn't expect to meet someone as important as you under these circumstances. I know it's unusual, but could you help me out now that we're working together? Really? But Uncle mentions you'll be joining soon. Actually, we're monitoring abnormal parameters and detected a problematic frequency that needs to be taken back to the Black Shores. The port city of Guishu was decimated by the lament. If this frequency goes unchecked, it could trigger another catastrophe. Yes, that's why the Tether system sent us to locate and recover this frequency as soon as possible, to prevent a potential disaster. Our agents relayed the coordinates, but... Since then, I've lost contact with them, which doesn't sit well. I'm stuck here monitoring, can't leave my post. Do you think you could help check out what happened? If things aren't looking good, we might need to inform Jinjo City Hall, like we did before. We will need to act fast then. That's the worst case scenario. 
If we contain the frequencies that Tether's system advises, nothing bad will happen. I want to help her. As an outrider, it's my duty to safeguard the peace. Thank you. Oh, it's reassuring to have a Midnight Ranger with us. I'll send you the coordinates of the abnormal frequency. Could be the reverberations or something in the sonorospheres. In Solaris, frequencies can be anything. One thing's for sure, though. This frequency represents gravity. It's abnormal because it has its own gravitational center. You should be able to feel a palpable anomaly near it. That's how you can locate it. I trust you'll handle it smoothly, but remember, your safety matters most. Don't hesitate to retreat if you run into any real danger. And once you're back, we'll hurry to the Black Shores to upload it to the Tether system. Oh, I forgot you haven't been to the Black Shores, have you? No worries. I'll be your guide then. Diminish! Is there anything of interest? Huh? I sense the presence of tacit discords below. What's the big deal? Just some pawns. I won't even break a sweat. Something feels different about them. Be careful. Survivors, quick! It's too late. So, there the agent Sneel was waiting for. What happened here? This is my name. I once lived under it as a bloom bearer. Children. Do you hear the echoes of our lament? 
become a part of them. I can't let it happen. Run! Run! What you seek is on the girl. She has it. Ugh. What does any of this have to do with me? Where did it go? No, wait! Don't go over there. The remaining frequency there is in extreme chaos. It's dangerous. Hold on! Hey! What must be from the Black Shores? Look at this! I need to learn more about this thing. My master and I guessed it's from the Black Shores, and now it looks like we were right! The abnormal frequency definitely links to the deaths of those bloom bearers. Now it's hiding in this object, but I can still feel its strong attachment to the Black Shores. Solving this issue is beyond our capabilities. Besides, they also mentioned Rover and the fall of the port city of Guishu. We should meet with that bloom bearer first and explain the situation. This is best left to the experts. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. Port City of Guishu must hold secrets waiting to be discovered. The Wandering Traveler. At last, you have returned. Here, the story both ends and begins anew. I am pleased to see you back on these shores. Wherever you venture, be it Huanglong or Rinasita, I will always be here, waiting. No matter how far you wander, you will always find me here, on these black shores. Understood. I am here to serve your will. Understood. I am here to serve your will.
at your disposal. Please have them. I hope they will prove useful. The wind rises. Echoes of the past. Still so thick. I can't even see you. Because you're at Veiled Rock. Your vision is veiled. Now, how about explaining what brings you here, uninvited guests? What? <gasps> is, it, is it really you? No, no. Don't lose me. <laughs> At last, you've come to me, to the Black Shores. Precisely. But how did you manage to get here? I see. <sighs> the situation doesn't look good. That Hoda might not be one of us. But I'm curious. Could I have a look at that item the antique dealer gave you? Huh. Didn't expect to see it outside Mount Firmament. A monitoring register. We Black Shores members place these around the world to keep an eye on the Sentinels. If anything happens to them, we'll know immediately. Hmm. Looks like it was also used to record abnormal frequencies in the port city of Guishu. Maybe the Tethys system has a soft spot for you. But without more details, I can't say for sure. Since your arrival, has anything unusual caught your eye? A person in light blue. Huh. Could it be the shorekeeper? Yes. The elusive guardian of the Black Shores, who is said to be always watching our true leader, shielding us from danger. It seems you've had quite the encounter. In times of great adversity, the Shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who, at the destined moment, will arise to save and guide the Black Shores. Fantastical or not, that's all we've got to go on. Hmm. There must be a reason she went to such lengths for you. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, let's not get carried away. We should head to the greenhouse. The abnormal frequency you collected needs to be uploaded to the Tetha system as soon as possible. In order to avoid another lament in the port city of Guishu. Given that we've already lost enough of our own to it, we need more blue... As for the information you're after... It's already spread this far. Seems like the Tethys malfunction is getting worse. We need to hurry. Time is one luxury we do not have. Let's save the rest for the road.
gang was freaking out. Someone must have teleported us away from the port city of Guizhou when things went south. You know, in the blink of an eye, we were back in Jinzhou. Hey, is that the sea behind you? Calm's dead? Don't worry, it happens a lot around here. The Black Shores sits atop a massive tactic tank, wreaking havoc on standard communications. Once you reach the greenhouse, you can pass them in near a beacon. Only our beacons can cut through the Tacitite's interference. Yes, they're directly linked to the Tethys system. Their voice frequencies are encoded into languages we can understand. If you think about it, they could be considered a unique living race of their own. As for the Tethys system, imagine it as a supercomputer. The Black Shores relies on its calculations to observe, forewarn, and solve anything lament-related. Anyway, let me introduce you to Koo Money. They manage the cash flow and keep tabs on robot terminals across the region. They're the shrewd profiteer of the Black Shores. <laughs> Easy there. Let's get back to business. The recent quake stirred up Tacitite's interference. How's your underground connection holding? That's comforting. Hey, you can give the abnormal frequency to Koo Money. They'll handle the upload. <laughs> How's the upload? Already sent the data back to Tethys? The Tethys system has been shaky lately. You've noticed, right? What's worse, along with the data, we've received some terrible news. The bloom bearers we sent to the ports of Guizhou. We lost them all. Since you're linked to the Tethys' data bank, can you check if there's a bloom bearer named Hoda registered? She might have something to do with the deaths of our people. Says Mr. Cheapskate. <laughs> That's not fair. You've never given me that much before. <laughs> Money is right. Just in case, the Tethys system is very likely to send out a warning to Jinzhou about an imminent lament in the port city of Guizhou. As for Hoda, if she's a bloom bearer, there should be a record of her in the system. And if such a resonator existed, 
the Black Shores would definitely know. Hold on. Huh. There's another possibility. Yeah, that's one possibility. Not to worry, if the machine route doesn't work, there's another way. Let's go to the greenhouse. Most of us like to gather there, and Monica, our chief administrator, is stationed there as well. Hey, what's in your mind? You ever play those RPGs? Each character's got a backstory, right? Well, these robots are no different. The Tethys system gives them all their own personalities. Take Kumoni, for instance. Tethys programmed it to be a crafty dealmaker. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll come across a robot you really click with. Once you're ready, we'll head over to the greenhouse and meet Monica. Alto, there you are. And this is... The rover just arrived. She's the one we invited earlier. The mysterious resonator who appeared in Jinjo. So you're the resonator who confronted the Thranodian. I honestly didn't expect to meet you in person. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit carried away. My name's Monica, the chief administrator or <laughs> housekeeper around here. I was supposed to show you around, but things are quite hectic right now. My apologies. You heard about what happened in Guishu, right? Yes, we received word from Jinjo City Hall about their actions. We also alerted them to the Tethys system's lightly warning of a potential lament in the port city of Guishu. The data you brought back has been uploaded to the system, but as you know, Tethys has been unstable. So the problem isn't solved. Exactly. We need Tethys functioning normally to fully resolve this. But retrieving the abnormal frequency was a significant step forward. Those boom bears didn't sacrifice themselves in vain. It could have been much worse if they hadn't risked their lives to transmit the coordinates back to Nia. And thank you for risking your life to retrieve the data. What's the current situation? Efforts to stabilize the Tetha system are underway. Good to hear. By the way, since you deal with all our contacts, does the name Hoda ring any bells? She claims to be a bloom bearer. Hoda? 
No, I don't recall any bloom bearer by that name. Why do you ask? So this is related to that abnormal frequency. Maybe she's a traitor. That theory doesn't hold water. Not only are traitors incredibly rare in our history, they're all documented. And there is no record of her in the system. Was she trying to mislead us? Hmm, that's strange. Because we just added you to the recruitment list recently. Yeah, she's quite the mystery. Monica, can you try to gather more info about this Hoda for us? Of course. If it concerns the security of the Black Shores, it's my job. <sighs> if this person was truly residing in that abnormal frequency, she could be responsible for those deaths. Damn it! We've been tricked! We just put it back into Tethys! Careful! Well, looks like she's made herself at home in Tethys. I'll check with Ku Money to assess the current situation underground. We need to do everything in our power to protect Tethys from any harm. Could you please accompany Alto to the greenhouse? We need you to find the Kuwata robots. Also, ensure the modulation device in the greenhouse remains secure. <sighs> I'm sorry. You were meant to have a pleasant time here. When the dust clears, I'd like to formally welcome you to join us. Gah! I'm frustrated with myself. Got too carried away by your presence to think straight. I thought we could easily resolve that issue by uploading the data you brought back to the system. Never considered the possibility of an infiltrator lurking inside. We need to figure out who's behind all this. Yeah, the Black Shore's every move hinges on its decisions, big or small. Without Tethys, it'd just be a barren Tacitite. And if you're after the truth, you'll need its assistance too. Actually, Ku Money, Monica, and I don't have top clearance to the Tethys system. Our access is limited. With higher clearance, you could uncover the answers you're looking for. All right, let's pick up the pace. We need to find the Ku Water siblings and check on the modulation device. This is your chance to ask anything you want. If anyone has answers, it's Tethys. I can't guarantee you'll get everything you're after, but it's worth a shot, right? The greenhouse is just ahead. Let's move.
Ah, uh, do you know how to play the piano? I guess the Black Shores have earned their mysterious reputation. They even have a self-playing piano. So you do know how to play. I don't have a musical bone in me, but that sounded good. <laughs> In every sound and frequency lies an emotion, just like this, expressing what's on your mind through music. It's something even you can do. You'll give it a try, won't you? Hey, wake up! What was that? Uh, what? It's just been the two of us here this whole time. Whoa! Another earthquake! Uh, what's happening? Run! We need to get out of here! your info in Tapas. Now you can command the robots across the Black Shores to fix and upload the corrupted data. That'll restore the anchors. We're heading to Veiled Rock's anchor. Rover, can you help at the Haven of Sprouts? It's our comms hub. I'll be helping with the repair at Veiled Rock. Such a pity I won't be there to witness Jinjo's savior in action once more. No, I'll miss seeing my friend in action again. <sighs> Maybe that's why you saw the other you in that vision. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. I'm <laughs> 
please have them. I hope they will prove useful. This is the beginning of a new story. Its geographical coordinates remain unchanged. Everything is as it was. Even time leaves no traces on the Tacitite. This world has not yet begun. But we have already seen its end. They too will be as fragile and lost as we once were. But this time, we will show them what we believe in. What was that? An illusion caused by those abnormal frequencies? But it felt all too... Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, Rover. Thanks to you, the abnormal frequency index in the Haven of Sprouts has dropped. The island ahead is the Eye of Asteria, the highest point in the Black Shores. It monitors the Etheric Sea across all of Solaris. Since the Tacitite there is more powerful, the interference is stronger, so there is not as much infrastructure there. It's quite close to the Haven of Sprouts. The robot is already there, waiting for you. Is there anything of interest? Have them. I hope they will prove useful. <laughs> Understood. I am here to serve your will. Tear them to pieces. 
Together we vanish. Plan with understood. I am here to serve your will. your disposal. Well Stay calm. I am Graft, you knew. Thank you, God. That's strange. It's our current call. Back 
Divine play. Tear the new pieces. My field of expertise. The story is unfolding. The lament is not an entirely unpredictable natural disaster. To confront one's enemy, one must first understand them. However, even now, we can only anticipate and warn of the lament's coming. Advanced predictions, including those of the Etheric Sea and the Tacit Fields, Remain beyond our reach. Our battle against the Lament cannot be won by a chosen few. Every soul must join. The Lament is our shared enemy, tearing apart the land and ripping people from their homes, their lives. It will take everyone to build a world that can thrive amidst so much ruin. This is something only we, as human beings, can achieve. Another one? Is this how the Black Shores was founded? It was like looking at a mirror into the past. is where we observe tacit discords across the world to predict the lament. It handles data collection, storage, and transmission of anything related to these creatures. That's why this place is the trickiest. We had a severe leak in data. You'd better find the robot first. It's familiar with this place. The observatory keeper should know where to find it. Watch out! More tacit discords incoming! Watch and learn. My fear of expertise. In flames. Minds are take form. Together we vanish. Thank you. I'm the Keeper of the TD Observatory. That was an impressive battle. I've heard about your skills from my colleagues in Jinjo. Yes, but regardless of our origins, we're united by a common ideal here. While you were busy cleaning house, we took the opportunity to reconnect to the Tethys system at the Haven of Sprouts. Since data can materialize using the energy of the Tacitite, we can harness it to our advantage. Now we have input data near the anchor, enough to form a climbing platform. Let's drive those monsters back to where they belong. Repair personnel for the first two anchors are on their way. 
It's now or never. Take four. Guests of the unkind. your disposal. That's strange. It's our curtain. My field of expertise. Feathers incinerate. Make it fast. Take four. Watch and run. Pooch in flames. Beckon the divine flame. Tear me to Gorgeous of spirits. I can only go as far as you commanded. From the etheric sea to Sonoro. From time to space. Hey, Yang Yang, look! Somebody's over there! Wait, is she dead? Or just unconscious? Your story begins here. Go for. I am forever by your side. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. All the repairs are finally done. Thank you for your help. Without you leading the charge, we would have barely made it. Uh, you are Hoda. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We finally found out her true identity. She wasn't lying when she said she was a bloom bearer. She worked as a field medic, but more importantly, she died in the lament that destroyed the port city of Guishu a few hundred years ago. In short, she couldn't be alive. Hoda is but one of us. In the Tethy system, our registered name is Necrostar. We are forever trapped on the event horizon of the black hole, falling into an unending darkness. Beneath the lament's wheels, we are but dust. Pitiful souls, cursed to suffer dreadful eternity, denied the solace of death. My mentor, the one I follow, please, I beg you to end this Mobius loop, this endless cycle. once more. Welcome home. I wish to keep you from any harm. Forgive me for acting on my own accord. Hmm. emotions are not mine to show. Yes, it was I. Long ago, when you first brought the Black Shores into existence on this island, I assisted you in managing this place. You once wove the threads of this world together, but then you left, roving the boundaries between this realm and the next. You have lost far more than just your memories. Since your departure, the Tethys system has been the sole leader of the Black Shores. Most have never seen you, and that is all by your design. This place, built by your hands, holds all its resources at your disposal. You have more important matters to attend to than dealing with everyday trifles. That is why you entrusted the Tether system with the Black Shores governance. This time, only you have the ability to end all of this completely. This is also your first step towards the future. You mean... She was indeed a bloom bearer, but mysteries still surround her and the departed. The departed, whom you saw in the port city of Guishu, caused those abnormal frequencies. Only you can mend those errors. Rest assured, I shall always be by your side to assist you as before. I am sorry, but I must keep this secret from you. As you restore the Tether system, you will uncover the reasons for severing ties with your past. Wandering Traveler, please tell me.
Are you satisfied with your journey and stories in Jinjo? In Solaris, Jinjo is but the beginning of your journey. Please, have faith. The path ahead shall be as splendid as you desire. The gate to the underground has been opened. Pass through it and you will reach the depths of the Black Shores. Your journey has only just begun. Beyond the Black Shores lies Solaris itself. Before you go, can I ask a favor? When all is settled, will you share your stories from Jinjo with me?